got paintball and airsoft. But... What's up, John? What do you got for me today? Oh shit, dude, pull it out. Oh, I think you know what this is. That's right, guys. KWA TK45, six inch PDW. Just got it. Want to make a special video for you guys here at JF Paypal, one of my sponsors, who handled all my repairs, upgrades, parts, orderings, helped me got this on the due date when I was supposed to get it. Um, if you need anything, hit them up. If anything you need amongst the airsoft world, they can get through. So we're here at the Chrono Lane. Hey John, how far is that target? So we're gonna we're gonna test that 45 feet with two fives out of their 120 cap mags. And if you know anything about a Ronin, you know that inside here you adjust the the, the FPS with the spring or a screw spring or whatever with this Allen key. Um, I was gonna turn it all the way down to its weakest state, but actually it came factory out of the box all the way turned down. So we're gonna do a quick chrono test with. Two fives at 45 feet through the chrono with the with the adjustment all the way turned down. And then I'm gonna turn it all the way up to the next test. That way we know what we're working with with two fives. Let's get started. Okay, two fives with the adjustment turned all the way down. Here it goes. 321. 319, what well, you can see. Snappy trigger. I've had the 5.56 Ronin PDW for about a year now, and I love it. It just it does not work. This one feels better. They made slight changes to a couple things, but it was all good changes to stuff that I like. Remember, I'm shooting two fives right now, guys. Two fives. I usually run two fives. Consistently shooting 317, 316, okay. It's going anywhere from uh, 313 to 318. I also want to talk about this that I noticed that my last Ronin didn't have. You see the KWA engraving on the ejection port? That's really sweet. This is also a really nice design. Um, still same uh, selector, I believe, but I didn't really have a problem with that. Guys, you're going to want to make sure every so often that you tighten these guys on both sides because on my Ronin 5.56 PDW I lost uh, an Allen key that went in here and so one side doesn't have the switch so if you buy this gun make sure you keep these tight maybe a little Loctite comes in handy I'm just going to give you guys a good look too while I got her on her side very excellent very well made not too heavy not too light heavier than a real one would be but it feels quality because that's exactly what it is quality all right, now I'm going to go ahead and take my Allen key tool that came with the kit. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn it all the way up to see what we're getting with those two fives with that screw turned all the way up. Stay by. I've turned it all the way up with the Allen key, so it's all the way turned up. We're shooting two fives. We're at the range. We've got my eye pro on. Here we go. All right, guys, two fives with the Allen key turned all the way up. This should be its hardest performance with two five gram here we go. Okay, the beauty of it not shooting 400 is to guys when you're playing your indoor or you're playing, you know, you're trying to be a good opponent to the sport, you're trying to be, you know, just honorable and not cause too much pain. 360 is excellent. 360 still gets out there. Don't get caught up with the FPS thinking that it's the end all be all. I can totally operate with 368 and I can totally operate with 300. In fact, the lesser FPS it has, the more I don't have a problem shooting someone closer. Now, if it was shooting like 415, I definitely got to aim for the kit. But when you have a good FPS rating like this, it's not the end of the world if someone gets hit point blank. It would be if they did, you know, 100 shots point blank, but, but you should only be shooting a guy once anyway. You know, unless he's cheating, whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's been great for the War Dogs and the Reapers and all the, the Northern Cali Airsofters that, you know, live above Sacramento. Uh, 
fixes all our guns. He's got great rates on his repairs. He orders all our stuff. He sponsors us. He helps us with anything we need. You know. So he's definitely worth a visit. If you're anywhere close to Grass Valley. Okay, just for fun, I'm gonna turn all the way to the full auto. We're gonna listen to what it sounds like when I empty it. That's what you guys want anyway, right? Go full auto. Wow. And I shot half that mag already. That, was, that, that lasted quite a while. You guys gotta pick up one of these. If you're on the fence, but you like the look, I'm telling you, it's worth the money. And they're not asking too much at all. At all. I mean, this is a good solid buy. I pre bought mine, so I guess I was priority. The dealer told JF that, you know, people who pre bought it, you know, they were priority. So I hope you guys can still get your hands on it. But at least not when it comes out, at least by your birthday or Christmas. Valentine's Day is coming up. So if your girlfriend loves you, you know what I mean? And you'll know because she'll have this for you. Um, very sick. I love this gun. Thank you, JF Paintball. Thank you, KWA. Another solid product. This is excellent. I hope to get my hands on their, they have an MP5 looking Ronin coming out. That kind of looks like an MP5 mated with an AR-15 mated with a Scorpion Evo. I'm sure if you hop on their social media from the SHOT Show, you can catch all that stuff. Um, excellent gun. Highly recommended. See you guys out in the field. I'm going to show you what it comes with too. If you've ever got one of these Ronins, you know what I'm doing here. So. As you see, we got the gun, the magazine, nicely packed. I'm gonna take it out. I'm sorry, guys, I haven't invested in a, uh, it's a gas tripod, but I can take mobile on the go. So we got the gun, excellent gun. I already talked about that. Came with two rail sections. Also came with its sweet adjustment tool, which I turned all the way up, and we'll be leaving all the way up. 0.25 shooting around 350 to 370 somewhere in there and the sweet sticker and this sticker last time I ruined it putting it on a gun case that wasn't quite Able to receive a sticker this time. I'm not gonna make a mistake. I'm gonna find something really cool with the sticker on Love the sticker. Wish they would have gave me a patch too, but whatever. Anyway, a little talk on the warranty I'm guessing if you upgrade this thing, they're not gonna cover anything for you guys So probably just leave it bum stock if you think you're gonna be breaking it. Anyway, that's the gun I got the six mags Ooh boy, ooh boy. Remember, they don't do wind-ups. They will be doing flush ones later, but I really want to wind up anyway. 120 is plenty. Hell yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you to JF and the owners. While I got you here still, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about the gun. I want to talk to you about this beautiful, beautiful grip. It's, it's, it's everything you want in a stippled grip. And it's not too aggressive and not too light. I also want to talk about the new charging handle, the T-handle, whatever you guys call it. Sorry, please deal with my camera, guys. I'm just trying to get this video out to you. Look how much better that is from the original one. So much better. Feels better. It has a double-sided, I don't know if you're familiar with real steel, you know, some of them you have to pull from one side or the other. This one is ambi, because there's these, see that little tooth? Set of teeth uh, right here, you know? That's on both sides, so it's ambi. I also want to talk to you real quick about what I noticed, the hop-up adjustment. It's a slight difference than the last one on my uh, 556 Brennan P PDW. It's a little bit different of a wheel. But everything goes. Once again, like I was talking about, the KWA, and uh, I guess engraving on the ejection panel or whatever that they call that. I love that, that is such a good touch. They should have been doing that all along. That is excellent. Mag release is excellent too, guys. Feels good. Really, I'm giving a little hump. Maybe I'm giving it, you know, two pounds of push. It feels really good. Really, really good. Number two, with these KWAs, you know, a lot of people upgrade their guns and stuff. I've never needed to upgrade my KWA, so I just don't. And I would recommend if you get this gun, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing KWA is not going to help you out if you run around trying to upgrade it. Let's look how flush that mag is. Let's listen to that click too. That was a good click. And they don't need to be super long like a Chris Vector Mag because it's airsoft. I mean, 
So it is the right length in my opinion. It's good. I like it. Thank <laughs> you.